Alright guys, so something I want to talk about really quickly is the snowball effect in terms of diet, workouts, and just fitness in general. And what do I mean by the snowball effect? So, a good example of this would be you get a poor night of sleep, right? So you wake up, you only got four or five hours of sleep instead of your normal eight to nine hours. So your morning starts out, you're already in a rush and you're kind of stressed because you didn't sleep very well and you kind of feel that fatigue initially right away in the morning. Well, this is going to hamper your ability to want to make a good choice with that first meal of the day, which really kind of sets the tone for the day. So you make that bad choice of a meal, you have something a little bit quicker, you have a Pop-Tart or you have something that we all can, uh, can attest to, to doing at some point, and it's something that's not so ideal. So that sets us up poorly from the beginning of the day. So then you move on and you're kind of rushing through your day, you're kind of moving too quickly, um, and you get to lunch and you end up having something that you didn't prepare, um, something you didn't make, but you go out to eat and it ends up being a poor choice. And since you're out to eat, you end up just saying, fuck it, I'm just gonna have something that tastes pretty damn good and doesn't really have any sort of value towards my goals. So that's your second choice of the day, all stemming back from just having a poor night of sleep. So then you get to later in the day, you end up getting to the point in which you have to work out and the motivation is just not there. Um, the discipline tells you you need to go and um, that's, that's a benefit because if you're at that stage, you're at least disciplined enough to go, but the workout itself suffers. You don't put up the same amount of weight, you don't put the same numbers up, um, and you're just not feeling like you and you're not enjoying the gym or enjoying the workout that you know you normally do when you feel good. Um, and then you get home, you end up having something that's probably not the best for dinner, or maybe you do clean it up a little bit for dinner, but the majority of the day was not spent wisely towards the goals that you have long term. And then this happens again and then you have stress on top of your normal sort of daily stress which is external you can't really control it and this all snowballs into weeks and then months and then years and then you end up getting to the place that sort of ground zero where you're feeling like I'm literally at square one once again and I don't want to make this a negative video but I just want you to understand that everything is working synergistically you're always always working on something that is going to have an effect on something else. You not eating good right now is going to have an effect on your workout. Um, I can't sit here and say that I'm perfect by any means, but being aware of that has a huge, huge effect on just your mental state really. And this can be said for weigh-ins too. If your weigh-in is always fluctuating, but you're always going out to eat or there's different variables that you're not taking into consideration, well, that's why your weigh-in's up. Are you looking good in the mirror? Are you feeling good in general? Like, are you feeling tired all the time? Well, maybe there's adjustment that needs to be made to your diet accordingly to help you with that. And really, like I said, just think about everything as a whole. Everything has sort of a role um, with another thing. They go together, like I said. It's a synergistic sort of um, way of working. And fitness is, is funny like that, where one sort of thing goes wrong, it's gonna have an effect on another. And the opposite way, the snowball effect can work um, in the positive, where you wake up, you feel good, you make that good choice of breakfast. Maybe it wasn't really an easy choice, but you made it, and now you're setting yourself up up for success. You got the meal plan ready to go for lunch and you have it already cooked. You get to that gym and you feel fueled and you feel like you're ready to go and kill it. Um, it makes a big difference and then you get that snowball effect going in the positive way and it makes a huge, huge impact on just literally your discipline and the want to and the motivation doesn't really become motivation, it's just, it's, it's, it's fun. It becomes a good thing because you're feeling the sense of accomplishment that you want and reaching the goals that you set out for. So hopefully this helps, hopefully that made sense and um, if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like me to kind of expand on from that, let me know, drop them below. Um, but otherwise, hopefully you guys are all having a good day. Um, Make sure you check out my website. I do have 25% off um, for the 4th of July running through the week. Um, just use the code USA at checkout. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything as far as coaching or programming, leave them below. Otherwise, shoot me an email and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for listening, guys.